10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stage one propulsion is nominal. All right, T plus 32 seconds, and our 35th electron mission is off the pad and on its way to orbit. The next mission milestone will be max Q. When Electron experiences the most amount of mechanical stress as it heads skyward at the intersection of vehicle speed rising and air density dropping. Electron is supersonic. Approaching max Q. Past max Q. There it is from Mission Control. Electron has cleared Max Q and is now throttling back up to full noise as it continues onto space. We are currently travelling at a speed of 2,400 kilometres per hour and at an altitude of 22 kilometres as we approach the next mission milestones. Three in quick succession this time. First, the nine 3D printed Rutherford engines will throttle down before shutting off completely. This is known as main engine cutoff, or MECO for short. Then we'll have separation of the first and second stages, followed quickly by ignition of the single vacuum optimised Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage to carry us the rest of the way to orbit. When Electron's booster is on its way home to Earth, we will try and stick with the Stage 1 live camera feed for as long as we can so we can watch Electron's ocean recovery attempt unfold. But for now, it is back to mission control for those next three launch milestones. Entered Britain to deck mode. Miko confirmed. Stage two ignition successful. Stage two guidance nominal. Right on cue there with Miko stage, stage separation and successful. ignition of the stage two Rutherford engine. Next on the checklist is separating the rocket's fairing and jettisoning the nose cone that protects the payloads during flight. This middle of the night launch means it might be too dark to see the separation event on our screen, but keep an eye out anyway as we listen into Mission Control for the call out. HVB battery discharge is nominal. Ferry and Jettison succeeded. And there's Stage the confirmation we were waiting for. Electron's fairing has successfully been deployed. Stage two is continuing well with its payloads to orbit. The vehicle is currently reaching speeds of more than 8,500 kilometres per hour at an altitude of 135 kilometres. <laughs> 